cover of how uh, you can program a smart um, satellite box using a USB stick similar to this one. The big advantage of this is it's extremely fast when you program a box, particularly if you're going to program a, a large number of them. Um, you can program a box in less than um, uh, 30 seconds um, and uh, it's a very, very fast, reliable and portable way. Uh, unlike, would say, using an RS-232 cable, you don't need a master and a slave box. You just put the information on the stick and then put insert it at the back of the box. So I'll quickly show you how we do this. We press the menu button um, and we come along and we go through the different options. But we'll choose the tools menu. Um, it looks for a password to enter in here, so it's four zeros. And now we'll see the option we want is US upgrade by USB and it's a grayed out option and the reason it's grayed out is there's no USB port in the back of the box. What I could do is I come along here now and put a stick in the back of the box. Um, and you'll see here that nothing happens but after about 10 or 15 seconds it'll identify the USB stick in the back of the box and tell us USB dev uh, device has been um, identified. So we come down here. Uh, to the US upgrade by USB port uh, and come along and what I want to do initially here is this box here is fully pre-programmed so I actually just want to take the information off this box and dump it directly onto uh, my USB stick so what I'll do is I go for the option here dump I come down and I start the process it takes a total of maybe about 10 or 15 seconds and once it's finished once it gets to 100% I simply exit out and that information has now been uh, put on, on my stick now, just as a matter of interest here, to identify how we'll do this, we come along and we'll just go up here to the channels options, uh, which is TV channel here. Go in 000, um, I will simply go and delete all the information that's there. Uh, do you want to delete? Yes. And now I, I um, exit out menu and it simply says no channels. There's no channels on the thing. So I come down here for, for the second part of the process, which is going back to the tools menu, hitting um, 000, and upgrade by USB. Now, if I had a blank box in the starting, I would just simply go in at this stage with the USB port uh, inserted into the back of the box. So I come along here, and this time I choose the option of um, all code boot uh, uh, loader. And uh, it's a dump file uh, .abs, and that's the name of the file on the USB stick that contains all the information relevant to this um, smart HD box. So now what I do is I simply hit start. Now this time, instead of taking maybe 10 or 15 seconds, it'll take a total of about 60 seconds to download all the information off the stick into the box. And at the end of the process, the box will simply turn itself off, will be faced with a blue screen for about 6 or 7 seconds, and when it comes back up, it'll come up on the last channel that was viewed on um, the box uh, prior to um, us uh, uh, downloading the new information. So we just, uh, we'll just wait here now, we'll work our way through this process. Um, I, you know, USB ports are very good. The one dangerous thing about USB ports is that um, you have to be careful of how you insert and pull out the cards. If the, if, the, if the actual USB port is in use when you pull out the thing, you can damage both the USB port and the information contained on it. So from that perspective, uh, things. But you can see here, this is a lot quicker than an auto scan, and as well as that, to hit the channels in exactly the order you want. So now, when anyway, the process is complete, it's, it's sort of regurgitating the, 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 the new software it's after receiving. And uh, now we'll come to um, wait for the box to turn itself back on. And now you can see the box is fully pre programmed again. So that's it beginning to end how to um, download the information, dump the information off your HD box onto your USB port, and how to take it from your USB port back onto your box beginning to end.